The young earth advocates claim that dinosaurs were created along with man on day six of the account given in Genesis. They claim that dinosaurs were taken into the ark along with all of the other animals we are familiar with today and disembarked from the ark after the flood. The young earthers insist that the flood caused the fossilization of everything found today in the fossil record. Well, again, if you can't have death before sin, you can't have fossils before sin. So you see, Noah's flood makes sense of most of your fossil record. You know what I think most of your fossil record is? I think most of your fossil record is the graveyard of the flood. Only those animals, including dinosaurs that were on Noah's ark, were safe. Those outside the ark, what happened to them? Well, they drowned. <laughs> and covered with mud and turned into fossils <laughs> and what do we end up with? Billions of dead things buried in rock layers laid down by water all over the earth. <laughs> now what would you expect from a global flood that lasted 371 days from the day that Noah got on the ark until the day he and the animals came off the ark as it's described in Genesis? Well you should expect to find billions of dead things buried in rock layers that were once soft sediments laid down by water and you should expect to find that all over the earth and that's precisely what we find billions of dead things buried in rock layers laid down by water all over the earth the dinosaurs which were not on the ark at the time of the flood ended up fossilized and we found them today you can go out and look for 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 dinosaur remains and we found them today. The question I want to ask though, did dinosaurs and you humans live at the same time? What I want to do this morning is to give you three pieces of what I call evidence or three pieces of data at that points to their living together. So if dinosaurs got on board the ark, they must have gotten off the ark. So did dinosaurs survive the flood? Well, they must have. Now granted, the flood killed off almost everything, but there were representative kinds of all the air-breathing land animals on board the ark. And so that means the dinosaurs, as Genesis kinds, would have survived the flood. Of course, most of the fossils we find would have been deposited during the flood, the dinosaurs that weren't on board the ark. There was the flood. And undoubtedly, a lot of the fossils that we find today, probably the bulk of them, were laid down during Noah's flood. It means there must be another explanation for what we see in the fossil record, because evolution's explanation does not fit what we observe. And that explanation comes right out of the Bible. Genesis 6, verse 17, where it says, And behold, I, even I, do bring a flood of waters upon the earth to destroy all flesh, wherein is the breath of life from under heaven, and everything that is in the earth shall die. That is the explanation for what we see in the fossil record. Everything created after the kind, everything buried at about the same time. There's only one problem with this theory. The only things found in the fossil record are dinosaurs, millions of them. If man and other modern day animals died in the flood alongside dinosaurs, where are the millions of fossils of modern day man and animals in the fossil record? There are none. Why? Because the flood didn't cause the fossilization of things living on the earth at the time of the flood. All of the dinosaurs died and were fossilized at some time before the flood.